Hey nerds, Bevan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised in my last video, which was an angry rant against Indiana Jones, which actually got me a lot of backlash, not on the channel, but in my life in general. But as promised in that video today, I am going to do a tour of my office. This has just been a video I've always wanted to do. It's not necessarily a requested one or anything like that. Uh, but I enjoy seeing this kind of stuff on YouTube. I watch it a lot. Um, so it's something I've always wanted to do, so I'm gonna do it. Like I was saying before in the past video, uh, I have decided to kind of change some focuses in my own toy collecting habits. I'm gonna stop collecting the six inch scale of a lot of stuff, um, except for the wrestling figures, the WWE Mattel Elites. I'm still gonna be collecting those because there's no really high-end collectible for WWE stuff. Uh, but for stuff like Marvel and Star Wars and DC, I'm gonna try to stick to more high-end collectibles. And I keep my high-end collectibles in the living room. They will not be a part of this video, strictly office and action figures today. But uh, one day, you'll get the high-end collectibles as well. And the reason why I'm doing this now is because I will be selling a lot of my six inch figures uh, or trading them for elites or whatever it is, but I'm getting rid of a few things. So I wanted to do this now as it stands and then maybe like in a year, uh, do an updated video. Quick panoramic of the whole room. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Let's start here with the desk. This is my MacBook Air that I don't do anything on except videos and stuff. Got a uh, piggy bank full of change that I can't use anywhere. Got my Batman bookend. You will see the other half of that set later on in the video. Uh, Captain America lithographic that I got for Christmas this year, which has also slashed my girlfriends. Up here we got my Star Wars novels and my Con Igledon novels. He's one of my favorite authors. There's a lot of historical fiction. This is a Buddha beer that I got for my birthday a couple years ago. And here's a couple of Star Wars pops. Moving up above that is my loot crate shelf. So all like the random knick-knacky stuff I can actually display goes on this shelf here. I got some pop figures, got some statues, got some venom holding some pens. Above that, some X-Men pops. 12 inch talking Marcus Phoenix, the Iron Throne with Stark Direwolf statue, my main roster of my current guys for WWE, Kotobuki of Batman from The Dark Knight Rises slash Arkham City, and a Batman Wonder Woman Injustice statue. Below that, here is my Hasbro figure checklist. As you can see, I finally got some stuff crossed off on there. Well on my way to my full set. Down here's my mini Bret Hart Shrine uh, with the WrestleMania 30 Elite, the Hasbro, and the LJN Hart Foundation set. Next to that is just some sweet Toy Story stuff, including a Lego Buzz Lightyear, which my mother gave me to Christmas when I was 21. I'm an adult. Down here we got Game of Thrones cards and Pokemon cards. This is the Game of Thrones Encyclopedia. The World of Ice and Fire, it's great read. I am nowhere near close to being finished that. But speaking of Game of Thrones, the season one uh, movie poster, TV poster. And then going over to the bookshelf, my Game of Thrones figures. Lots of pop figures. I have more pop figures in storage. And then I got the awesome Dark Horse statuettes. I'll probably be selling these as well and going for more high-end Game of Thrones stuff. Below that is the NECA Gears of War 3 set. Delta Squad represent. I can't wait for that new game. NECA Harry Potter. Used to have almost a full set of this collection. Uh, sold off a bunch. We'll again probably be selling these off for more high-end stuff. Marvel Select. Love these figures, but they don't make enough of the characters I actually want to collect, unfortunately. 
That juggernaut there is probably one of my favorite action figures ever, though. Below that's my Pokemon shelf. I used to have the games on here too, but I moved them out to the living room with the other video games. Uh, we got the handbook, a couple of mangas, a Pokeball, and some figures. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep these or not. Uh, time will tell, I suppose. There I got my Greg Capullo Batman figures with a couple of WWF Hasbros, my Star Wars Black series. Love the Kylo Ren. It's great. Next to my Marvel Legends. Very small Marvel Legends collection. Got into them very late in the game. And I'm getting out pretty early, actually. Again, for more high-end stuff. Here's my comic book collection. Uh, well, my trade collection with some collector books over here. And some X-Men pops in front. I do have the whole X-Men set. A few more are in storage, though. On the bottom shelf of the bookshelf, are my uh, my favorite authors collected onto the one shelf. George R. R. Martin, Bernard Cornwell, David Gamow, and Samantha Shannon. Closet for storage, nothing interesting in there. A printer, a window. I've never seen my neighbor walk by while I've been doing a video, so that's good. Filing cabinet, random storage thing, and I mean random storage thing, there's a void check. Uh, there's a pill bottle in there, some paste tubs, random toiletries for my girlfriend. Up there we have this awesome Spider-Man art thing. Um, this is actually the Royal Rumble DVD collection set up here, next to some of my girlfriend's Archie comics. This top shelf is all Alicia's books. I need to alphabetize them still. It's really bothering me they're not really in any order, but uh, that's okay. Below that are my WWE Mattel Elite flashback series. So this is all the legends. And I fucking love these toys so much. I've got my favorites in the front row, Sting, Mr. Perfect, Macho Man, Warrior, Bulldog. It's APA in the back. Love these things so much. Below that, probably my favorite shelf in the whole room. That's my Harry Potter shelf. Over here on the left, I got random books. Uh, I got one in Spanish that I got in Mexico. That purple one there, I got in England. We got the Pops, the Voldemort wand, stuffy Hedwig that I got in England. Uh, this big black book here is actually from the studio tour in England. One of the best experiences of my life more pops. This box set my girlfriend got me for Christmas uh, and it's amazing and beautiful and I haven't read any of the books in there yet because it's so amazing and beautiful. Harry Potter wand. Um, the original set missing a couple due to a flood I experienced a couple years ago. Uh, Butterbeer cup again from the studio tour and the illustrated edition of Philosopher's Stone. Below that is just some more novels there. There is the other half of the bookend set. It's Superman. Awesome. This stack of books here is novels I have yet to read. I'm very slow when it comes to these. I can buy them faster than I can read them. On the bottom shelf is uh, all my religious studies and my history books that I haven't read yet. I was a religious studies major in university and the passion carried over into my uh, after school life. That is a towel covering a vacuum cleaner. I don't know why the towel is there, but it is. Almost done here, but from my very first convention I ever went to, I got these awesome prints signed by the, uh, by the artist himself, Hugh Rookwood, Flash and Carnage, two of my favorite characters. So visually appealing. And below this, the piece de resistance, my Millennium Falcon. This is actually a 1991 version of the Falcon, but a guy here locally that I met at a fan expo refinished it in probably the most amazing ways possible. I love this thing so much, and it was totally worth 
the $350 that I paid for it. Granted, it was on sale from $425 as a last hour of the day special at the convention. This is my Mace Windu lightsaber that I got as a birthday present, I think? This bow tie was actually a birthday present for my girlfriend this year. Unfortunately, I have not had a chance to wear it yet. But I'm sure I'll be going to a wedding this year, and I will have my chance. There's the garbage, and the laundry, and back to the desk. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing it. I love toys and talking about toys and showing off toys and looking at toys. That's why I buy toys. If you liked the video, give me the thumbs up and the like button. Subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out two videos every single week. Always nerdy, usually fun, I think. Um, and if you want, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Bevan Boychuk. And stay tuned for a new video every Sunday and Thursday. And until next time, folks, I'm out like a light.